Hey everyone, this is PhD Natural Meat and today I'm going to be making the creamy, chunky cream of mushroom soup that I talked about on Saturday. I'm going to show you all of the ingredients and then I'm going to bring the camera down so that you can see this. And this is going to be just one serving. And the reason why I did one serving is one, I wanted to make sure I liked it. And two, no one else likes mushrooms in my house. Can you believe that? Mm. I love mushrooms and they're very filling, they're meaty, and it tastes great. So one serving. So everything that you'll need in the recipe, I'm going to show you as I'm putting them in the pot, but I'm going to show you here. Heavy whipping cream, salt, pepper, butter. If you want to use fresh garlic, go for it. I just have this chunky garlic that I can keep in the refrigerator. I use avocado oil. I prefer it over olive oil because olive oil is strong for me and I don't really like the taste too much of olive oil. I have my scale, I have my Vitamix, and I have my bag of mushrooms. I just mix them all up. It's cremini in the button mushroom. You use any mushrooms that you like. I grabbed what was on sale. Actually, no, I just grabbed the ones that look good. Sometimes the mushrooms, you got to be a little careful with them. <laughs> so, let's take all of this down, down to the pot. Okay. Two tablespoons of butter. I'm going to squeeze in. Teaspoon, teaspoon of garlic. I know I am using plastic. It's just for measuring purposes. Stir that around. And let this cook down a little bit. One cup. Second cup. I'm going to break these up just a little bit. Actually, I don't have to, but I'm going to crush them a little bit. teaspoon of avocado oil. Now I'll put the lid on this and turn the flame down to low. And I'm going to let it cook until the mushrooms release their water and they get meaty. It is cooked 
down enough. Turn the fire off. Okay, what I'm going to do now is take my half a cup of water in my bouillon cube and I'm going to pour it in. I'm going to take the lid off of my mushrooms and that's the one serving. I'm going to take half of it and put it into the mixer. with my hand mixer and yes it did break it up but it didn't make it as creamy as I wanted it like I know my Vitamix will do or any other mixer okay make sure your mixture is turned on the lowest setting when you start just in case you don't want it flying out it's not a lot just it's just a small amount so I'll make sure it's turned on low And that's it. to make sure that I get everything out. Push that back. Uh, let me bring you back to my pot. Okay. Oops. Okay, back to the pot. I'm going to take my mixer take the lid off I'm going to pour my mushroom base in here and I want to use my spatula to scrape out all of the yummy goodness I am left-handed, so this is a little challenging. I'm going to have to switch on you. Sorry about that. If you have a smaller mixer, great. I don't. And this is fine. And let me tell you, it seems like it's a small amount, but this is so filling. It's ridiculously filling. That's why I'm making sure I try to scrape all of it. Okay. Now, I'll turn this back on just a moment. And I think I will. A little bit of water actually to my mixer so I can get this water out almost a half a cup and then I'll turn it on very simple to do. I didn't add any salt or pepper yet. I will definitely add pepper because I love pepper.
just add that at the end and my Vitamix around in the mixer I want to show you <laughs> what I'm doing because I'm trying to get all of the ingredients yes this is what real people do don't waste it okay okay so I get a little bit more of my mixture and at this point is where you want to add your your cream about two tablespoons there mix and you are ready to eat Be right back with the final product. It's all done. It took less than 15 minutes. I, oh, this is a 10 ounce bowl. And let me tell you, this is so filling. It's delicious. It's 480 calories, eight and a half grams of carbs, 48 grams of fat, and four grams of protein. It's amazing. I sprinkled some cheese on top of this and you can add what you want if you want to add a dollop of sour cream, go for it. But it is very filling, it's very satisfying and very easy and quick to make. So I hope you make it and if you do, let me know. Let me know what you've added. I did not add any salt. The chicken bouillon cube that I forgot at the end, as I was making it, I realized, oh, I forgot to uh, put that in the picture one bouillon cube and if you want to keep it vegetarian you don't have to use the chicken bouillon cube you can use a vegetable bouillon cube or just plain water this is delicious i'm going to enjoy this so stay healthy everyone keep eating keto bye thank you so much for watching if you like what you've seen Go ahead and hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit the bell so that you won't miss any of my videos. Stay healthy and keep eating keto. Bye-bye.